we're going to Steven's house. Who the hell is Steven? Steven, man. You don't know Steven? Anyway, I'm only going because he's, he's got some weed. Trigger, trigger, trigger to death tonight. You don't know what, you don't know what that is.
Pumpkin for ya! Go for a theme this year. Theme like what? What kind of theme? I don't know. Maybe Jem and the Holograms. You can be my Rio. Who? You know Jem, glamour and glitter, fashion and fame. She was an 80s cartoon. So like, who was Rio? Like some evil rock star? No, that was Pizzazz and the Misfits. Rio was their manager. We had purple hair. Purple hair? Oh, come on, dude. I'm not wearing purple hair. It's like, gay. Oh, you look so cute. No. Whatever. What about Jack and Sally? Lame. 
I got it. I swear to God, if you say Bella and Edward, I'm going to kill you right here, right now. Jesus Christ, Bill, why don't you take the fun out of everything? But what was wrong with my idea? Oh, what? The Crow and Shelly? I'm sure everybody's going to know who you are, but what about me? It's going to be some chick and a white sheet. You wouldn't. And hello, do I look like a brunette to you? No, Bella. Listen, don't you think you're taking this whole costume thing a little too seriously? Listen, Bill, this is the first time in like 15 years this town's allowing anyone to celebrate Halloween. The last time you carved a pumpkin at my house, I was like, two. you really have to ham it up. Ham it up, huh? Hey, look at me. I know you're bad! <laughs> Having fun? Tons of fun. If you don't take that mask off right now, you can kiss getting something like a bad. What mask? Oh, Yes, yes, please, please, please get that. Do you want me to wear this? Yes, I do, please. And what are you going to be? We both can't go as bunnies. Uh, I, I will get my dad's smoking jacket, and I will go half, and you, it will be so awesome, please. I don't know. I'll make it worth your while. Okay, I'm listening. Uh, what do you... Hmm. What do, you, what do you want? Remember that chick flick that you refused to take me to? Oh, the one with... Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Uh-huh, that's it. We're going. You're taking me and you're buying. I take you, you get this? Yeah. You swear you're going to wear this in public? Mm -hmm. Deal. And done. Okay, shake on it. Thank you, baby, so much. I'm going to be waiting outside for you. Am I going to pay for this, too? Bitch.
Hey, Mr. Monroe, is that... Is that you? Yeah, it's a sick mask. Listen, as Julie Danyak is we're gonna go to this thing. What the hell? Is that you, babe? Hold on, I'm almost ready. What do you think? What the fuck, Bill? I thought you were gonna be half. You know, this is, seriously, it's not cool. And what are you supposed to be anyway, some crazy mechanic? You know what? Fuck it, fuck it. Listen, I'm sick and tired of trying to compromise what I want for you. Sheriff's Department, please. Is this an actual emergency? What the hell do you think? One moment. Sheriff's Office. Hi, hello. This is Julie Monroe. I'm 17. I live at 21 Lampkin Lane. How can we help you, Julie? I just been attacked by some guy in the past. You all right? Yeah, yeah. He broke into my house and he tried to kill me. Where are you right now? Yeah, I'm by the pumpkin patch on Route 31. Yeah, my car ran out of gas. Don't worry, Julie. We're sending someone yeah. out to pick you up right now. Just sit tight and don't move. Okay.
figure, a shape with no distinguishable characteristics or emotion. An empty shell of a man, a monster. This being lurks in the shadow of a child's mind and thrives on fear. In the past it only had the power to reveal itself in imagination. But now this creature has manifested to reality. Into something much more violent and deadlier than ever imagined. Fear incarnated in Stephen Meyer. A new wave of death is upon us. We can simply choose to ignore it, or we can do something to stop it. Sooner or later the time comes when everyone must face their demon. And that time is now. <laughs> Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream Making the cure that I've ever seen Give him two lips, like roses and flowers And tell him that he's going to die all over to take any patients anymore. Yeah, we're not really a functioning hospital. Right, ever since Dr. Wynn passed away. Okay, not a problem. Yes, have a good night. What was that, Billy? Ridgemont Federal Sanitarium. They want us to take another comatose patient off their hands. Are you kidding me? They call her at least once a month. Don't they realize we're just babysitting this place until someone decides to demolish it or it burns on the ground? <laughs> I don't know. I just can't wait to get the hell out of here. What's stopping you? I mean, you've been working here ever since I got here. That's a long time. Too long. You should quit. <laughs> to be honest, I got nothing better to do. So what are you trying to become sheriff? I'm sure you get the job if you want. Believe me, I don't want it. Especially after what Pops went through. The brackets are pretty much done with police work in this town. Yeah, that was probably a lot of stress on your dad back then. I couldn't even imagine. Me either. I never even got a chance to meet my sister. What was her name? Anna? Annie. Oh, Annie. I'm sorry. It is what it is, and it's done now. Just as long as no one else has to go through what we did. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that, Bill. That son of a bitch has been dead for a long time now. Right. Yeah, I'm surprised you guys even moved back. Florida was nice, but Dad says it wasn't really home. I guess he just wanted to come back north. Right, right. Yeah, I, I, I would have stayed far away. Trick or treat, dipshits! Jimmy, what are you doing here? Why aren't you back at your post? Because it's Halloween, bitches. Ron's got the back. Ron. Ron spends 90% of his shift asleep, and the other 10% he's in the john. So? You know Ron can't be on such an important post, especially on a night like tonight. <laughs> so when do we have important posts? And what does it matter anyway? The six people who work here already left. So that means... We're here all alone. Let's get wasted. What do you mean? What are you, slow? What do you mean, what do I mean? 
It's Halloween and we're stuck here lurking. You know how many parties I should be at right now? So I brought the party to us. Uncle Jimmy brought presents. Ladies, this is Tina. Hey, Jimmy. Hello. And Jacqueline. Hi, Jimmy. And Lila. Jim. My favorite. Leave her alone, Jimmy. Not everybody drools over the thought of Halloween like you do. But look what they're wearing. Alright. Meet Billy. It's a pain in my balls. Alright, ladies. It was nice to meet you, but Jimmy really shouldn't have brought you here. You shouldn't be complaining. You should be thanking me. Can I talk to you for a second? Oh, what? Just relax. One of them's for you. I really don't think it's a good idea to have everyone here, especially tonight. Come on, don't be a willy willy. Please don't call me that. Oh, come on. You've been waiting for Grandpa Myers to show up now for what? Six years? Just give it a rest. He's dead. That's what happens when you're like 90. Come on, you know damn well he's younger than that. He's in his 50s. Well, excuse me. I just don't understand how you could be more concerned about a dead man in his 50s than these hotties in their 20s. Being sexy is so hard. In practice. Why do you have to be so difficult, Jimmy? I just don't want anybody getting hurt. No one's gonna get hurt because nothing's gonna happen. It's been out of the game for ten years. Ten years. You can't live your life in fear, my man. Come with me. Now stop waiting for something that's never gonna come and try to have some fun with something that will. Tina, come here. Give her a tour or something. Let's go. We'll be right back. I wouldn't mind the tour. Alright, you can help me do my rounds. Okay. Okay. All right, Ma, can I go? I'll call you later. Yes, when I leave. Okay. Goodbye. Sorry about that. It's okay. So, um, has anyone ever told you you... Do you have a beautiful name? No. Well, I really like it. Lila. You know, it's really different and pretty. Lila. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, um, Jim tells me it's your birthday. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was actually yesterday. But yeah. Oh, well, happy belated birthday. Thank you. So do you like being a Halloween baby? I hate Halloween. I don't, I don't hate Halloween, but I'd probably rather not be born on Halloween. It's, it's kind of like being born on Christmas. It, it takes away from both days, you know? Makes sense. So, uh, why do you hate Halloween? Well, I never told anyone this, but when I was a little kid, <laughs> be afraid of everything. So, Halloween wasn't exactly a fun night for a girl like me. It's all fake. You, you don't have anything to worry about. I know, but it's one of those things, and everyone always made it worse. They would say this rhyme about ghosts and goblins coming out on Halloween night, so my parents added this line to it to make me feel better, and it worked for a little, but I still don't look forward to Halloween. Yeah, you're right. Halloween sucks. So, how old are we? Seventeen. Seventeen. Getting up there. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe we're seniors already. If that asshole comes in here, I want you to kick him square in the balls for me. What the hell happened? 
The last thing we need is the spawn of him and some dumb slut running around. He's pissed. I've had enough of this bullshit. Get Ron on the radio, make sure his fat ass is up. We don't need anything else happening tonight. What's going on? It's just Jimmy. Just get Ron on the radio. Switchboard urgent care. Urgy, come in. What's the matter? He's not answering? Keep trying. I'm sorry I called Tina Slut. Don't worry about it. By the way, where's Jackie? Me and her got into an argument before. She stormed off. She's probably with Jimmy or something. That was quick. You guys just met. Yeah. Rough night. You all right there, Bill? Yeah. Jimmy's just being a real dick. Really not in the mood for it. You guess you don't want to talk about it then? I guess I'm just a little wound up, that's all. What about you? I see you've been talking to Lila back there. <laughs> there he is. All right. Good for you, man. She's a cute girl. To be honest, I think she kind of likes you. Steven. See what I mean? He told me to call you when Ron answers back. What'd he say? Nothing. So why are you out here? Because there was a scream from the radio. No. Call me, guys. Stay close behind. Stay in the middle of the room. Wait here. It's gone. What's gone? I had a gun in here just in case this happened. Billy, what happened? Nothing happened. We're at work, Jimmy's a douche, it's a pretty standard day. I think Michael Myers is here. No, he's not. Yeah, I think he is. I, I can feel it. I, I know he's here. Wait, you need to relax. You're letting Halloween get to your head. Maybe. We're not taking any chances. Come on. We need to stick together, okay? Because if we don't, he's going to pick us off one by one. Who? Oh. Michael Myers. He's playing with us. What the hell is going on? Stay calm.
来一个，给我，给我看看，来一个，来了，来了，好，好，好，好，好，来了，来了。Yes, it's comfortable. Sheriff, you said Smith's Grove, right? Yeah, why? There's no body there. What? We checked the whole building. There's nothing there. Stay here, we're going back. You don't have to do that. Yes, I do.
He's not dead. What do you mean, Bill? I don't know. He, he's, he's, he's not dead. Everybody out of the house. Go. Go. Come on, get out of the house. Thank you.